case with Phoenix Longevity Arts. Before Tai Chi was created, there was a style of Chinese Kung Fu called Fu Jia Qin, which is the Buddha family fist. And apparently, this particular style of Chinese martial arts or Kung Fu was the inspiration for Tai Chi. And so I've seen a few different people do it different ways. I was at Wudong Mountain in 2010, apparently, where this was created and where it is still practiced today. And the Buddha fist is a little bit longer than the 24 style of Tai Chi, but it's not quite as long as the Yang 64 style of Tai Chi. So it's kind of like an intermediate style of internal Kung Fu. It's very Tai Chi-like. It probably has half the amount of explosive release of Fa Jing as Chen style Tai Chi does. It's a really acute form. It's very internal, very meditative. And it's supposed to be a form of personal growth and internal solidarity. And so when we're doing Buddha Fist, we're trying to make this a meditation in motion so that if we have a... or a stressful uh, event going on in our life, or if we have an injury that we're trying to uh, heal and make stronger, we can, just as if you would pray to whatever God you believe in, and you would ask for uh, fortune, or ask for stress relief, or ask for good times, this particular style of Kung Fu called Buddha Family Fist, you would try to be conscious of any kind of conflict in your life, and you would search for a resolution to this conflict during the practice of your Buddha fist. So without further ado, this form starts in our regular position with our stance nice and straight, posture just like Tai Chi. The breathing is just like Tai Chi. The principles are just like Tai Chi. It's basically just another Tai Chi form. From here, we're gonna step out to a wider shoulder distance apart. We take our hands and we breathe in. And then we push the crane spreads the wings and breathe out. Then we breathe in and reach up for the sky. Our hands come together. I breathe out and bring the hands down in a prayer position and exhale. Then I do my little bow, tai chi, curtsy style move. Breathe in, bring it back, breathe out. Circle to the right, and I spin my body along the axis, or along my spine. To the left, I'm slowly creeping my way down. Then I inhale and keep my spine straight, barely touch the ground. I exhale, and I lift my left leg, and I beg the goddess of mercy for forgiveness, and I open my hands up. Then the praying mantis climbs the pole. I switch my hands this way circle them outside, step to the left, hooking left, turning my torso, and hooking down in front right. This is a very easy to learn and fun to practice internal kung fu form. Let's do it one more time from the front without talking, and then one time from the back without talking. <laughs> 